So what type of proteins do we target in general? Well, I already mentioned GPCRs. This is a circle diagram of all the compounds currently on the market. Uh, the big blue quarter here, those are G protein coupled receptor, by far the most important drug target. Yellow, nuclear receptors, and then we have voltage and ligand gated ion channels, and then we keep having a bunch of additional membrane proteins. It's no coincidence that we're going after membrane proteins. It's, they, are the de they are the doors and windows on the surface of the cell and the obvious place to start working if you want to interact with the cell. Based purely on the number of drugs, I would argue that it's at least 50%, if not 60%, of all the compounds that are targeting membrane proteins. But even that, it's an underestimate. And the reason for that is that the membrane proteins tend to be the new drugs, the ones that are tailor-made, engineered, super specific. And it's really only the last 20 years that we've had good structures of many membrane proteins. So all these small slices, many of them are 30-year-old drugs that don't really correspond to a whole lot of profit, while the really profitable drugs, they're all the ones targeting the ion channels and GPCRs. So in terms of monetary value, it's probably 75 to 80% that's membrane proteins for the pharma industry. That's why they're so interested in A, membrane proteins, and in particular, G protein coupled receptors and ion channels.